nature creates few men brave. Industry and training makes many. It is better to act and repent than not to act and regret. One should never fall in the belief that you can find someone to pick you up. He who builds on the people builds on the mud. He who is highly esteemed is not easily conspired against. He who wishes to be obeyed must know how to command. Everyone around will envy you if you tell the truth. A man cannot survive without cheating because it is his nature. Men will not look at things as they really are, but as they wish them to be and are ruined. It is not titles that honor men but men that honor titles. Never attempt to win by force what can be won by deception. Where the willingness is great, the difficulties cannot be great. Men are driven by two principal impulses, either by love or by fear. Since love and fear can hardly exist together, if we must choose between them, it is far safer to be feared than loved. Any injury we do to a man must be such that we need not fear his vengeance. It is double pleasure to deceive the deceiver. It is a common fault of men not to reckon on storms and fair weather. Men should be either treated generously or destroyed because they take revenge for slight injuries, for heavy ones they cannot. It is far better to earn the confidence of the people than to rely on fortresses. Of mankind, we may say in general, they are fickle, hypocritical, and greedy for gain. Never was anything great achieved without danger. Therefore, it is necessary to be a fox to discover the snares and a lion to terrify the wolves. Whosoever desires constant success must change his conduct with the times. There is no avoiding war it can only be postponed to the advantage of your enemy.
If an injury has to be done to a man, it should be so severe that his vengeance need not be feared. There is no other way to guard yourself against flattery than by making men understand that telling you the truth will not offend you. Everyone sees what you appear to be. Few experience what you really are. The first method for estimating the intelligence of a ruler is to look at the men he has around him. Men sooner forget the death of their father than the loss of their patrimony. Men intrinsically do not trust new things that they have not experienced themselves. In conclusion, the arms of others either fall from your back, or they weigh you down, or they bind you fast. The best fortress which a prince can possess is the affection of his people. 